Hello dear friends, finally we are here, we are here and ready to test our fuel. It will be really really interesting to see this kind of simulator for testing the and adjusting of our uh, fuel valves. Also I will share some tips which is really really important to take uh, in your info uh, library. So let's quickly start and open here let's come closer to our uh, bench and as i told you before everything here must be clean as much as possible it's really really uh, nice to see so many details okay and let's screw okay so we screw down and let's check our fuel valves how it sprays and how it performs okay here it's visible 400 so as i have seen before this kind of uh, fuel valve will need some adjustment so we will get it until 450 bars so by this uh, nut here we will adjust the pressure and let's see again how it will perform so let's see okay 450 it's the opening pressure of our fuel valve and what i'm doing uh, always I use a, a clean a tank here okay the tank probably it's somewhere here uh, always the oil to be clean as much as possible and what I'm doing I'm start to increase the pressure and when I see the opening pressure uh, when I'm coming close to opening pressure uh, I'm going and pumping slower so when I see that the opening pressure is about 450, okay, I spray two times, three times. And also another thing that I do, and then I will try to make a uh, simultaneously to press uh, the handle to see how it performs in uh, repeatedly strokes. So uh, it's really, really a uh, different uh, spray. Uh, from the engine if the fuel valve will be set it on the engine because the conditions the working conditions is different and also uh, it's really really faster the injection uh, on the engine because the rpms are uh, more but uh, as i have seen by testing like that uh, it was really really um, a good the performance of the fuel valves that we have made and also never never set your fingers here inside because if you spray with this spraying uh, pressure around 400 450 bars this uh, diesel will enter your skin will pass your skin and will enter your uh, bloodstream uh, this is really really dangerous situation and do not make like that because the fuel will be circulated in your uh, bloodstream so let's uh, i tied it already i secure it and let's make uh, our final test also the spray pattern here must be clear all uh, that's why it's transparent here so you'll be able to see how it sprays and that all the nozzles are free so before the adjusting okay i uh, what is the first step that i'm making i reduce the pressure as much as possible low so from here we have a stream a visible stream and by piping here okay the pressure will be about 20 or 30 bar but i will see that all the nozzles uh, nozzle holes it's free and the spray from all the holes are equal has the same size and then slowly slowly i will increase uh, the pressure until the working pressure and i will adjust uh, as much as possible properly and to that pressure to that working pressure that uh, the manufacturers provide through the manual another thing that some engineers do and i have a uh, talk about that they increase the pressure let's say if the working pressure is 420 they set it to 450 so after some hours of operation after let's say 15 days the pressure will be lowered to 420 in the working uh, condition and that is also a solution okay which they find that help them to reduce as much as possible uh, the overhauling and the adjusting of uh, the fuel valves but as we know uh, by the time after some hours 
really really the pressure will be dropped and also we have found uh, if we adjust the fuel injectors 420 let's say after some hours about 1500 hours uh, this pressure will be dropped to 320 or to 250 bars something like that but we have seen that injectors to perform good we do not, do not have any problem so you can do that but uh, it's better to follow the manual because anyway these injectors will be dismantled in that hours for checking and testing and this is a good thing to remove the injectors always to test them to clean them so you will have as much as possible a good performance of the engine and your fuel will be used in the best way to produce as much as possible a uh, more power from the injection because if you have a poor injection you will inject that fuel but that fuel will be not atomized properly will not dissolve uh, between the air and the fuel and then you will have a loss of power so your engine will consume more and will produce uh, less power output and also you will produce more uh, NOx and SOx through the exhaust gases so that is it my friends so let's disconnect our fuel valve and let's close it by membrane so we can storage that and then we will place it on our engine so thank you that you stay tuned here with adventure story channel we have tested together this uh, fuel valve on yanmar engine don't forget to share the material and also your thumbs always on the top see you in the next videos and uh, later on will be much more interesting see you my dear friends and bye bye